It's time to check in on the latest buzz in the entertainment world. Liz, Mike from one of our one of buzz joining us live right now. Good morning. Morning. Morning, guys. Morning. Okay, so Brendan Fraser, uh, he is finally having uh, a good year. I think getting <laughs> getting his due. You know, he's had he's had a rough couple of years in Hollywood and is being celebrated for uh, what people are calling his comeback role in this new movie. So tell us about it. Yeah, it's called The Whale, and it premiered at the Venice Film Festival over the weekend. And apparently it was so good that it received a standing ovation. And there's a clip that's going viral everywhere. And it shows Brendan Fraser, like, standing up during the, like, standing ovation, almost looking uncomfortable and wanting to cry and getting super emotional. And the whole thing, ah, it just makes you want to tear up because... He's kind of been missing for the last decade or so. And so he's having this whole comeback moment. And what's really cool is Dwayne The Rock Johnson actually took that video that's going viral and quote tweeted it and put all these really nice words out there about how great Brendan Fraser is. And that back in the day, the very first movie that The Rock was ever in was part of the Mummy franchise mm. and how welcoming Brendan Fraser was and kind and just what an all around good person he is. That's really cool. Yeah. That's really cool. Well, and this is definitely, I mean, I think of Brendan Fraser movies, and of course you think of like The Mummy, or honestly, I know that uh, our, our director is already going to make fun of me for this, but George of the Jungle. Yeah. Like, you know, those, yeah. those, yes. those, those, those kinds of, what was, what was another one of his back in, uh, oh, Encino Man. So like, Encino like, Man, the, yeah. the, the, Those types of movies where the character, you know, it's not a whole lot of depth to it, and that's mm -hmm. fine. Like, this is very different. There's a very different role that Brendan Fraser's in now. Yeah, yeah, and I think it's so cool to see him having a comeback. Like, it's just, I, I, I live for these moments. Yeah, mm -hmm. he, he had, you know, it was, I was reading an article, it was interesting. He's one of those people where it's just like, super nice guy in Hollywood, had a couple projects not work out for him or not go his way, and it's just interesting how quickly careers can change. And mm -hmm. it's one of those things, it's like, you hate to see things like that happen to really good people. So it's, it's really cool to get to see him have his moment, you know, back on the red carpet and have that standing ovation. Totally. Totally. Well, yeah, and you think about it, Brendan Fraser was one of the it guys in the 90s, right? Like Travis said, he didn't have a, a whole lot of character depth in a lot of the movies he did. <laughs> yeah. But when The Rock came out and he was in The Scorpion King with him, that was his first movie role after WWE. He was actually still in WWE at the time. And now The Rock is the biggest movie star in the world, and he's out here giving Brendan Fraser his flowers. And it, it, it's just something really cool to see. Yeah. yeah. And, and this movie is, is getting a lot of buzz. The Whale about uh, a man who is severely obese, trying to have a relationship like with, his, pounds, uh, yeah. with his son, and he had to gain weight for this role. So I, I think it's going to be a movie that we hear a lot about, too, yeah. uh, as it you know premieres more widely around the world. So. Absolutely. Be, cool. be interesting to keep tabs on it. Speaking of people who've been in Hollywood a long time. Yeah, how old do you want to feel right now? Uh, Kelly Clarkson marking her 20th anniversary as an American Idol. Oh my Are gosh. you kidding? I feel ancient, okay? <laughs> I still would rock those chunky highlights that she had all the way back in 20 years ago. Oh, but yeah. apparently over the weekend, she celebrated the big anniversary. She made posts up on her social media basically saying that she wouldn't be where she is right now if it weren't for American Idol, all the connections, everything that's happened in her career. And I mean, you know, she was the original American Idol. And while I like Justin Guarini, and he is fabulous in the Dr. Pepper commercials, I don't <laughs> think he would have had the staying power that Kelly's had over these decades. Um, I would agree with you there. Yeah, I, I, think I think I would too. Kelly Clarkson was a pretty solid original American Idol. And, it, and it's just interesting to look back and think like, that show, when it first premiered, and for the first few seasons, it was so huge. Mm -hmm. You know, you look at people like Kelly Clarkson or like Carrie Underwood and, and the longevity and the careers that they've had. I couldn't tell you who the last three or four American No, I couldn't either. I think were. a lot of that, too, is just TV has changed so drastically. Yeah. Back then, you know, you were watching, you know, it was still a lot all, of all network the main, TV. exactly. Yeah. You, you tuned into cable or network TV to, to watch these things. Yeah. It's changed so drastically. So it, she also, she won it at the right time. And I remember having to dial in on a phone to vote. That's and getting right. I forgot about you that. You had to call like a in land to vote. Like a landline phone. Not even texting to vote. I mean, straight up dialing old school numbers yes. and talking uh -huh. on the phone. Uh -huh. That's right. <laughs> wow. Wow, I Before forgot Before cell that. phones happened, that was what we were doing. Yeah. But you got to think about it. Like you said, Emily, Carrie Underwood, Kelly Clarkson, and, and then what? 
Where's Ruben stuttered uh, these days? Right. And oh, then, man, that's and then I got to think a little about. harder. Who was the guy that uh, sang, she bangs, she bangs? I have no idea. He wasn't William the American Idol. William Hong. Will Hong. Oh, see, I don't even know William that. <laughs> He's He's probably thank the you, third Christian. most successful. He didn't even make the he finale. He didn't even win, but boy, he got a career out of that yeah, one. Yeah, I feel like uh, Since You've Been Gone is one of the most covered songs. I feel like punk bands everywhere cover Since You've Been Gone by yeah. Kelly Clarkson. So. Yeah. She has some staying power. She's got many more years uh, of a career Absolutely. ahead of her. I have a feeling. Okay. Oh. Thanks, you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye, friends. Take Bye. care, guys. Don't forget, you can listen to Liz and Mike every weekday morning on 105.1 The Buzz. I know.